Let's talk more about the country's COVID-19 vaccination program with Dr. Maria Consortia Kizon. Dr. Kizon is a member of the National Immuni Immunization Technical Advisory Group, or NITAG. Good evening, Dr. Okta. Research is seeing a logjam specifically at the pre-vaccination procedures, which actually involves health consent forms, checking of blood pressure. Is there any way to streamline and improve this? Um, hello, good evening, everybody. Um, that actually has already been streamlined compared to the uh, first time that we uh, uh, vaccinated the health workers because I, I personally um, experienced that when I had to uh, fill up so many forms. So, nag-improve na yan nung lagay na yon. Okay, so uh, as, as we are trying to roll out and, and, and um, having experience in vaccination, uh, we will be improving the system. All right. Um, are there anything uh, or any specific measures that you're eyeing to further improve the system that has already gone through improvements so far? Well, first of all, uh, we encourage people to, to um, register online because that will really save a lot of uh, time so that when you go there, all you need to say is, I am Juan de la Cruz, and then all the data that's needed from you is already um, encoded in, in, in if you have pre-registered. So that will really uh, save a lot of time. But then also we recognize that not a lot of people will be tech savvy or will have access mm -hmm. to, to um, computers. So mm -hmm. there is time, actually, because when you, when, you, when you sit there and wait for your turn, step by step, mm -hmm. you have time to fill up the forms. So, uh, yes, it is a possibility that that is the uh, bottleneck, but um, I think that would be the exception rather than the rule. All right. Uh, another issue, Doc, is that the city of Manila is complaining about having a shortage of vaccine supply, while on the other hand, Makati has excess supply. Um, th does this say that our current distribution scheme is effective, or are we missing something here? Is it just perhaps a momentary thing? Right. Um, different strokes for different folks. As we say, iba iba ang diskarte ng mga LGU. No? So it's really up to them whether um, mabilis or mabagal. No? Uh, what is important is for DOH to see to it that there is um, a, an allotment for the LGU. And I believe, I truly believe that L, uh, the DOH is doing its best mm -hmm. to get the vaccines fast and furious immediately to the um, recipients, okay? So it is entirely possible na sa Maynila, uh, ang feeling ni Mayor Isko is, ang bagal naman, ibig sabihin na uubusan siya. And that is good, ibig sabihin, uh, malaki ang demand sa Maynila, you know? But that doesn't mean naman sa, na sa Makati, baka konti lang muna ang mas mataas ang vaccine hesitancy nila, kaya... kaya uh, uh, sumo sobra, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But then that also can be uh, remedied because, you know, as you finish each priority group mm -hmm. and then um, nobody's coming anymore, then you can start to the next in line. Like if you finish with the A2, you go to the A3, then you go to the A4. So may solution naman ng mga yan. Yeah. Regarding that, though, Dr. Kizon actually wanted to ask, so pagkagano, no, if it's the LGU that maybe has observed na, oh, we could do th this thing better or improve this uh, requirement better or this registration procedure better, uh, are they allowed to ch make changes on their own or, have, or do they have to consult the DOH or any other authority first? Uh, well, first of all, if they've done the basic minimum that the DOH... Uh, 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 wants uh, or is a requirement, for example, name, age, you know, all those, uh, th the three forms, then certainly they can do their own uh, discarte. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, uh, as I always said, you be surprised because they're the ones who knows their, their community, so they would know best how to do things uh, as quickly and as expediently as possible. So they are allowed, as long as they do the minimum uh, and follow the guidelines. Those are guidelines, but they can have their own discarte, you know. So as long as they do the basic minimum, then they will be allowed.
Right, thanks for clearing that up for us, Doc. Now, a vaccine czar Charlie Galvez is also pushing for a mega vaccine hub, which Okta Research says could be a potential super spreader venue because of the possible inflow of vaccinees. What's your take on something like this? Um, first of all, I think it will work as long as it's going to be managed well. You don't want, it's going to be a super spreader when you just allow anybody and everybody to just walk in. But before the vaccine, uh, before the day of vaccination, if you've um, told the people that here is your schedule, you come at 8 o'clock, you know, and then you susunod na bat, you come at 9 o'clock, you come at 10. So careful scheduling, and I think we will be able to um, avoid, uh, like, really, really crowding if the vaccination centers are prudent in their scheduling of um, whoever is um, should be vaccinated at that hour. So walang, walang magsisiksikan, walang, walang uh, andami kasi naka-oras eh. May appointment sila on such hour, on such day. It can be done. All right, thank you so much again for your time and your insights. Dr. Maria Consortia Kizon, member of the NITAG.